Hey guys, uh, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, this is going to be a really long video. I have a lot of stuff I want to go through regarding Grin and, you know, Inner Silicon and some other stuff here. Just I'm going to be correlating a lot of stuff here and I want you guys to give me your opinion at the end if you watch all the way through. All right. So, to begin, in a silicon, as you guys know, is a ASIC manufacturer, and they created a, I guess, Grin 32 miner uh, called the Inno Silicon G32 Grin miner, and apparently, apparently, they have cancelled the pre-orders, all right, and they have issued refunds, uh, or going to issue refunds. Now, uh, I'm, I'm just going to quickly read this here, alright? So they say, we are very sorry to inform you that our Grin product G32 GPU ASIC fabrication has not been supported well by the Foundry due to their lack of experience and confidence. The final GDS was submitted to our Foundry FTP for tape out months ago and we have been doing our utmost to pull in the schedule for the wafer fabrication. However, it is unfortunate that we finally learned from the foundry in the recent meeting that they still do not have enough resources and confidence to make large GPU ASIC yield viable. Even after various assurance from our engineering side, their yield feasib feasibility evaluation took way too long to meet our delivery requirement in January and February, so we have to put this pot production on hold till future clearance. All right then, Inno Silicon invested huge amounts of R&D dollars to complete the in innovative C31, C32 Grin GPU ASIC designed to our satisfaction because we believe in Grin and its core team. All right, so I'm, I'm not going to read the rest. You guys can read this here. I'll have it down below. But they had here the G32 Mini, G32 500, and G32-1800. And we can see here, according to their website, the details are posted here. Basically, the G32-1800 miner was about 14,000 USD. The G32-500 was about 4,300 USD. And the G32 Mini was about 1,200 USD. And you guys can see, uh, I'm just going to show you guys the hash rate for the G32-1800. Proposed hash rate here was, performance target was 328 graphs per second on C31, and then 65.6 graphs per second on C32, at about 1800 watts. Now, I found another thing that was posted the day before this, this Twitter post here, which was posted January 16th. Uh, this another medium post from Miner Bros, uh, January fifteenth. All right, the day be the day before this tweet here, they mentioned finally we started delivery of Innosilicon's G thirty twos. They show here we've started the delivery process for back orders and we have some extra items you can order from our website. Please note. As we have told our customers, this delay occurred from the manufacturer and Miner Bros works as a distributor. All right, so I'm actually on the Miner Bros website right now. And as you guys can see, $14,000 for the G32-1800 ASIC, and they have the G32-500 and the G32 Mini. And they said, uh, according to this Medium article, <laughs> we've started delivery. I, I don't know what that means, but are they selling pre-mined ASIC miners? Now, this is what I, I want to I wanna talk about now, okay? So, Really funny thing, I, I want to correlate something. So Coindesk had an article here, Grin developers agree to alter technical de development roadmap. Now this was back in June 27th of 2019. The big thing here I want to mention is in a move, they, they say here, in a move intended to give ASIC manufacturers a return on investment on chips they have already built, a previously scheduled phase out of Kakatu 32 chips will be delayed until past 2021. Now, I want to correlate this with the Grin Kakatu 32 hash rate that's out on the network right now. All right, so 100% unknown according to miningpoolstats.stream, we have 515 kilograms per second on the G32 network. Now, I want to correlate this to Kaka 231. Right now, there's about 91 kilograms per second on the Kaka 231 network. All right. And then Kaka 229, 
there's about 167 kilograms per second, which would be about, I would say, mostly all GPU miners, probably GPU miners. And then Kakatu 31 could be these new InnoSilicon ASICs. But you guys see the disparity here. Kakatu 31, all right? Uh, let's see. Able to get Garner able to get about 320 328 grass per second on a G32 1800 watt in a silicon. So I calculated actually there's a 47.1% unknown hash rate for Kaka 231. So example, if I do 48 kilograms per second uh, versus uh, 91. So uh, what's 48 minus 91? That would be about 43. But but I did look at the nice hash algorithm. A nice hash algorithm for a Kakatu 31, and we show here 51 kilograms per second. Okay, so I kind of correlated this with the unknown because it mining pool stats doesn't show nice hash here, right? So I'm gonna say that that hash rate is correlating to uh, the unknown, which is the nice hash hash rate. All right, so I'm gonna say that there's no ASICs on the G31 network, all right? If there was, if there was, all right, minus, uh, so it'd be 30, 43, so 43,000 graphs per second divided by 328. Technically, there would only be about 131 of these G32 1800 ASICs on, on the C31 network. Now, now, I want to correlate something now. Kaka 2, 32, all right? 527 kilograms per second. This is a lot of hash rate. This is a lot of hash rate. All right. So let's go back to the Silicon website here. They mentioned 65.6 graphs per second on C32. Okay. 65. Uh, no, let's go back to the hash rate here. 527 kilograms per second. Let's go. Let's type that in. 527 kilograms per second. So that would be 527 thousand graphs per second divided by how many hash rate here 65.6 graphs per second so 65.6 graphs per second and that shows about that would be about 8,000 g32 1800 miners asic miners are there 8,000 g32 grin miners out right now mining on the g kakatu 32 algorithm in correlation to the move intended to give ASIC manufacturers a return on investment on the chips they have already built to be delayed out until past 2021. Are in a silicon or maybe obelisk mining on their obelisk SC1s or in a silicon G32s on the Kakatu 32 algorithm right now? I want to give I want I want you guys to give me some opinion on this. Am I wrong? I'm I'm just conspiracizing here. Is this is this hash rate correct? Now, a funny thing, a really funny thing as well is Sapphire's website here, all right? Sapphire, as you guys know, I mentioned this card way back a couple months ago, like in the middle of 2019. It's the Sapphire Radeon RX 50, 50 570 16 gigabyte card that can mine Kakatu 31 at 0 0.47 grass per second. Now, I calculated this and you would need, all right? They they would need 100,000 RX 570s, 16 gigabytes, uh, in order to mine uh, the G31 uh, G31 hash rate. So, um, do I think there's a hundred thousand Sapphire Radeon 570s on the network mining grid? No, that would require a lot, a lot of hardware. It it would it would make sense to me that there would be I don't know 18,000 or a couple thousand uh, G32 Grin miners mining on Grin right now. Wouldn't that make sense, guys? L l let me know down below. The Grin 1 cancellation, you guys know Obelisk had cancelled their... Uh, I made a video about it five months ago. Obelisk cancelled their Grin ASICs. I'm curious to know if these guys are mining with their Grin ASICs right now. That would be... That would be... That would be kind of funny. So... Um, and another crappy thing that happened with them was refunds will be provided in a form of BTC equal to the USD value of the amount paid at the time of purchase. The video that I made during that time, the pre-orders happened when Bitcoin was around $3,000. So the pre-orders happened during that time when Bitcoin was 3000 I wonder 
how many people were screwed and pissed about how much of the USD value, which I think the refunds happened during uh, July 19th when Bitcoin was about 13,000 or 12,000 USD. It sucks for those people. Now I'm wondering for in a silicon for people asking for refunds for their G3200s, uh, G32 1800s or 500s or minis, what's the price that they are going to get at? For people that paid in Bitcoin, if they paid in Bitcoin, how much are they going to be getting back? All right. So that's, oh man, this is a, just a cluster. Man, I, another thing I want to correlate here is with Grin. I've, I, I'm thinking there's there's a lot of wash trading going on here because of the liquidity of Grin right now is just not right. The volume on Hotbit versus the liquidity on multiple exchanges here is like nothing. I'm curious to know if the price of Grin has been propped up by a bad actor in the space, a whale, a bear, whoever. I, I just, and the rank of Grin has been, you know, in terms of market cap right now, uh, top 107 with 32 million as of making this video, 32 million market cap. And another thing I want to correlate with uh, some some things here was that Grin was on November 11th, 2019, so a couple months ago, they were donated 50 Bitcoin anonymously. They said this was a anonymous anonymous donation. So I, I wonder if this anonymous donation was from one of these ASIC companies because apparently, uh, you know, they have changed, Grin developers have agreed to alter their development roadmap in terms of the Kaka2 algorithm, all right? So am I wrong to correlate these kind of things together? I'm just speculating here, 50, 50 Bitcoin donated, why? Like, I haven't had, I haven't heard of this happening to other coins out there. 50 Bitcoin being donated to Grin. I mean, hey, Mimble Wimble, it seems like a coin. It seems like a technology that sounds really good, right? Privacy, all that kind of stuff. But, you know, since the inception of Grin, all right, since the inception of Grin back in, let's see, they joined July of 2017, they have claimed this kind of technology, Mimble Wimble, all that kind of stuff. Everyone was hyped about it. But since then, Obelisk and other other Grin manufacturers like InnoSilicon have come into creating these ASIC miners. So is there a correlation with Grin developers, InnoSilicon and Obelisk colluding, conspiracizing together in, you know, Obelisk canceled the Grin ASICs. Now InnoSilicon canceled the InnoSilicon ASICs. Now they have to refund all these people's Bitcoin and whether or not they were using their Bitcoin for other nefarious means, I don't know. I'm just trying to correlate some very fishy stuff here. And I want you guys to let me know if if I'm wrong or right in some way, in, fo in some form or fashion. I'm correlating a lot of different stuff here. I hope you guys watch the whole video. But yeah, I, I am just, I'm trying to understand what's going on here. And uh, actually, if we go to what to mine, they actually showed on their website here on what to mine, G32 miners were canceled by the manufacturer. And also that shows the profitability of a Kakatu 31 at uh, 328 grass per second, making 190 gr 190, 197 grin a day. That's about $194 a day. So What's not to say that these guys are in a silicon is using these right now to mine now. So yeah, really fishy to me in my opinion. But anyways, my friends, I want you I want to know what you guys think, all the information that I showed here, I portrayed and uh, this cancellation here, so from in a silicon. All right, my friends, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one and peace out.